let's look at how you'll engage with the learning environment. The course homepage can be divided into three main areas. Your personal profile up here on the left. The course content, divided into weekly units, is in the lower half of the page. And a set of specific features and functions buttons are up here in the top right. To start, let's take a look at your personal profile. To get into your profile page, click on your name. When you log in for the first time, click on Review or Edit Your Profile, and you can edit your name, email address, time zone, and add a photograph. Next, you'll find a short welcome that reviews the course goals and approach. Moving down a little further, you'll find the Program Overview, which also serves as a progression tracker. The next section is My Impact Points. In addition to progressing through the activities, it's important that you're engaging with the content posting your thoughts, and entering into discussion with the other participants and the course moderator. Impact points are a measure of how well you're doing with this. Beneath your impact points, you'll find your skills tracker. Since the activities on the course are linked to these leadership skills, you score associated skills points when you complete activities. Finally, at the bottom of the page, you'll find a section called My Takeaways. These are parts of the course content that you've highlighted and added notes to. These will build up over the duration of the course and can then be downloaded as a PDF document when you complete the course. Now, let's take a look at the course itself. Since I've completed week one, I'm now ready to start week two. Opening any of the weeks will display the lessons for that week. Every lesson starts with a self-assessment before moving on to a listen and think video that explains the concept and then a video which presents a case study of a real world example. As you're watching the videos, you'll see a full transcript over to the right. The transcript is interactive, meaning that you can highlight parts that are particularly meaningful to you and then add your own comments. Clicking Save will add them to your takeaways to download and keep at the end of the course. It will also add to your impact points, indicating that you are actively engaging with the course content. After watching each video, it's essential that you post your comments. Putting your thoughts into words and sharing them with the cohort will help you process and develop your thinking. You will also add to your impact points total, indicating that you are initiating interaction with the other participants. You can also see the posts from other participants. Learning from the thoughts and experience of others is an essential part of developing as a leader. If you reply to a comment, both you and the person you are replying to will score impact points. Also, replying to other participants' posts will encourage them and stimulate discussion. You can add any of the comments that you find insightful to your takeaways using the plus sign. Next, you'll find the questions that link your key leadership challenge to your lesson. The key leadership challenge is broken up into bite-sized chunks and distributed throughout the lessons, meaning you'll immediately be thinking about how to put what you're learning into practice. The more you explore and the deeper you dig into your challenge, the more the course moderator will be able to give you feedback. To ensure that you're comfortable dealing with real issues that you're facing, the key leadership challenge and leadership growth plan are seen only by you and the course moderator. Lastly, you'll find additional resources. These are links to external articles, blogs, or videos that are added by the course moderator and you and your fellow participants. Please do add links to external resources that you think are relevant and interesting for your cohort. You can add any of the shared resources to your takeaways using the plus sign. Completion for each lesson is shown by the legend at the end of the lesson. To get your certificate, you need to complete everything, and that means everything. So please make sure that all the little bubbles are filled out, indicating completion for you. In addition to the lessons, each week you'll have an activity to develop your leadership growth plan, helping you develop strategies and techniques to continue to grow as a leader long after you complete this course. At the end of each section, you'll find your weekly team discussion. This activity is a discussion between a small team of participants based on a case study that will allow you to dig deeper into the themes of the week and consider their real-world implications. The last section of the homepage are the buttons in the top right, which give access to a range of specific features and functions. The first of these gives access to your key leadership challenge, allowing you to see it as a single cohesive project. As you complete each of the activities embedded in the lessons, it will populate automatically. You can also see the feedback from the course moderator integrated into your whole challenge plan. You may be tempted to do it all at once, but we urge you to go with the flow of the course. We promise it's better that way. Next is the moderator button, which you can use to communicate directly with the course moderator. 
the Team button gives you access to a team chat forum, where you can start and get involved in conversations with your team. The Notifications button takes you to a page where you'll see messages informing you of all replies to your posts or feedback and messages from your course moderator. We hope this has given you some sense of the features and resources available, but the best way to learn about the platform is by getting into it, setting up your profile, working through the lessons, engaging with the course content, and, crucially, sharing your thoughts, ideas, and experience. Go forth and have impact.